Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a weekend get it all done with us. Basically tackling everything on our to-do list that we needed to get done for the weekend that I wasn't able to get done during the week. We had a couple things that needed to get done in the garage. We had some stuff to do in the kids' room and just a little bit of some cleaning. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. Let's get into it. So I first wanna jump right into these cleaning products that I discovered by Blue Land. And you guys, I was sold. Once they started talking about their mission and just their company as a whole, what I was actually really impressed with is that Blue Land uses no single use plastic in any of the components from their bottles, tablets, and wrappers to shipping, you guys. That is so impressive. There's no plastic waste either. I actually got this kit that came with multi-surface cleaner, bathroom cleaner, mirror and glass cleaner, as well as hand soap. And actually I fell in love with the product so much I ordered another box as well to keep upstairs. Um, but anyways, I love their idea of the tablets. That's all you need for your cleaning products. You're going to put in your bottle, fill it with water. And I was thinking you guys that, I'm gonna be honest, I was like, this has to be on the pricier side. I mean, sometimes being sustainable can be kind of pricey, but their products are so effective and affordable and their refill tablets start at just $2.25. But you can actually get more savings by buying their refills in bulk or even setting up a subscription. Their subscriptions are customizable and convenient so you never run of your most used products. And it really opened my eyes because I felt like I could be sustainable and limiting my plastic use while still not spending so much money. And better yet, all of their products are free of phosphates, chlorine bleach, parabens, VOCs, ammonia, all that bad stuff that is in a lot of the cleaning ingredients and they're hypoallergenic and sourced from vegan and non-GMO ingredients. I even felt comfortable enough to wipe down the dog's food mats with it. I'm telling you guys, like once I got to cleaning and using their products, I couldn't stop. I started wiping down everything. I wiped down the counters, like you guys just saw the dog mats and our dining room table. And then I grabbed the glass cleaner, which you guys will see here in a second. I started wiping down um, like our door by the dining room, all of our mirrors. I started using the bathroom cleaner. Like I started to go to town. But I was also very impressed with how well they cleaned everything too. So if you guys decide to try their products, which I hope you do, because I'm going to tell you why in a second on how to save some money or tell you how I should say. Um, definitely try their Iris Agave hand soap. It had the most fresh, clean smell ever. I loved it. I'm going to put the other hand soap with the other kit that I got in our half bath so our guests can use it and enjoy it as well. Now, you guys, I just fell in love with this company. They were founded with the belief that they shouldn't have to sacrifice a clean home for a clean planet. Their mission is simple. It's just making being eco easy with innovative products and reusable packaging that are also affordable, effective, and of course convenient. Cause you guys know I'm all about the convenience. I hope I have sold you guys on trying out Blue Land. And if I have, you guys can get your first purchase from Blue Land for 15% off by clicking my link. My link will be down in the description and they are now shipping to the US, Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand. I definitely recommend checking out their starter kits. I got the clean essentials. Well, technically I got two of the clean essentials, but I definitely recommend checking out that one or starting with that one. That's gonna give you your glass cleaner, your multi-surface cleaner, bathroom cleaner, and the hand soap. So again, you guys can click the link in my description that will give you guys 15% off your first purchase and most importantly thank you so much to blue land for sponsoring today's video so we did a garage makeover i think was it almost two years ago which is crazy we've had our home gym for two years now and we absolutely love our prx performance home gym we got a few new accessories which is super exciting so we have a new pulley system as well as a Oh my gosh, you guys, I am totally blinking, but basically a shelf for all of our weights because we just had to stand on the floor. So now we have a 
nice shelf to put all of our weights. I can just go over there and pick them up. So that is what Frank is doing now. Um, it is definitely hard. Her, I should say harder for him to do these kind of things right now. So basically he is able to still use his shoulder. I think I talked about this in a recent video about Frank having surgery. I know sometimes it's hard to keep up with what I say on my other channel and then what I say on this channel, but basically Frank has to get surgery very soon. Um, he's getting his labrum repaired in his shoulder. Um, and he will not be able to do a lot of stuff for a while, like even basic, like everyday stuff. So he's been kind of pushing himself lately with getting some stuff done around the house before his surgery. Again, causes so much pain. He just pushes through it. If you guys remember our fireplace makeover, that was before we even knew that his labrum was torn or anything. He originally thought that it was just sore after the surgery and the reason why he did see a doctor is because that soreness never went away anyways he is currently pushing himself to do stuff that he probably shouldn't be doing and just trying to get stuff done before his surgery because once he has it he will definitely not be able to do a lot of things for a while still don't know for sure how long the recovery will be because i know it varies from person to person um but you know like i said after that after he has it done he will be out of commission for a while. But back to PRX, he is now installing the pulley system, which is really nice because we can just add it to our existing gym. And there's so much more stuff that I wanna get. I wanna get some different plates, like the weighted plates. I want to get a different colored bar. They just have so many different accessories that you can add to your gym so if you're thinking about this is not a sponsorship by the way but if you're thinking about wanting a home gym or getting one i definitely recommend checking out prx we have it right in our garage you can actually um make it flush completely to the wall of course we got other stuff in our garage because we don't really use the space other than for our gym but highly recommend checking them out. All right, so a little backstory about this fridge. So our friend Marco called us up and asked us, hey, do you guys want this mini fridge? And I'm like, yes, definitely, because we, we do already have a mini fridge, but we store a lot of the kids' drinks in it and everything, and honestly, all of my energy drinks and protein drinks were kind of taking up the space. So I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Well, I didn't know that it was like an actual fridge, but like, but like a mini version like the top up there is the freezer this down here I can store well I'm mainly storing my drinks but I could literally store anything that I want to in it um, which you guys can see I'm storing all of my drinks it does have a child lock on it so I just want to mention that but uh, thanks Marco he's not watching this video but thank you for letting me have this fridge and giving it to us so I definitely put it to good use I put all of my drinks in there that way it's all organized and now I can stock up the other fridge with the kids drinks and I could probably put Frank's beer in here too once I clear up a little bit more space <laughs> so like I said I wanted to get some stuff done in the kids room I wanted particularly to hang up these nets that I found on Amazon I'll actually link them down below the kids squish mellow addiction and obsession has increased over the years, especially I feel like over the last year, they have really, really loved them. I have always not been a huge fan of stuffed animals because my kids don't really play with them. So we just end up putting them in a bin. And you know, some are like sentimental, like their first bears or like, you know, if they get special ones from family. But sometimes I'm like, I don't know what to do with these stuffed animals. And now I'm like, I don't know what to do with these squishmallows. So I actually saw this, I can't even remember where I saw this idea. Actually, I take that back. I got this idea from Aria. She found it somewhere and she actually had a net in her room and she put all of her squishmallows in there. So I took her idea. I got one for Harlow, Scarlett, and Nolan. So in this corner, this one is for Harlow. And then we put the other one for Scarlett. And then you guys will see later in this video, we also put one up for Nolan. And they're actually pretty inexpensive. So again, I will link that down below for you guys. And we probably could have put them up a little bit higher. As you saw, it was kind of leaning <laughs> on the playhouse. And this one was a little bit low with their cubicle, but still got the job done. It was still really cute. And actually they preferred them in the nets versus 
all over their beds where they had it before. Like it was just consuming their beds. They love them in the nets. So hey, like I said, if you need an idea for your kids stuffed animals or plush toys, I got you. I got your back, but they did turn out very cute. And of course it wouldn't be a video from me when it pertains to cleaning and getting it all done without a laundry clip. So of course, gotta get some laundry done over the weekend. I've tried to, or I should say, I've kind of made a schedule for myself during the week because I'll do the kids laundry on Monday and Thursday, sometimes Wednesday. I really try to keep track of it, um, but that way I stay on top of it all the time. But it does get overwhelming when I have to wash other things like towels, my clothes, if something gets messy or dirty, rugs, which I think I did put some rugs with those towels. <laughs> My mentality, because I've gotten questions before about why I don't separate whites from darks, which you guys, I've never done. Sometimes I will. Sometimes I'll wash like all of our white towels and use bleach, but sometimes I just throw them all in one place. And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna hope for the best. And they're all getting clean anyways, right? So there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Maybe that's not the right mentality to have. So I think most of you guys know, I like to keep things pretty organized and tidy. I could literally have everything picked up and put away in the house, but the one thing that will be untouched is my vanity. For some reason, I can let that slide and be clutter, but if like one thing is left on the counter, no, it's gotta be put away. Let me know if you guys are like that too. I just get in the habit of just leaving my vanity as it is putting everything all over the counters. Um, so I am putting all of that away. And then now we're gonna go to the footage of Frank putting up that same net that I got for the girls in his room because he also has a huge collection of squishmallows. You guys are probably gonna hear Fletcher in the background of this voiceover, but anyways, um, yes, these things are great. It comes with everything that you will need, hooks, anchors it even comes with like little clothes pins like mini ones if they want to hang any pictures that's actually what aria did she took some of her polaroid pictures and clipped them on there super cute aria even put some like little fairy lights on there i was just thinking too that this is a great way to clear some space off of the floor because like i said we usually just put the stuffed animals in a bin in the kids room so this has been a great way to also save some space in their room especially after christmas because we have so many toys still some even still unopened but here is how Nolan's turned out so the last thing to do on my to-do list is cleaning up the kids room now for the most part Ari is really good about putting her laundry away actually she is good about doing her laundry putting it away keeping her room somewhat clean and organized so I mainly just focus on the girls Nolan and even Nolan is very good at cleaning up his room but i just like to like reset for the week so that way we don't accumulate like mess on top of mess is what i'm trying to say so i'll just go in there straighten up their room put away any toys that i need to put away laundry so speaking of tidying up and organizing my goal this year is to have an official office for editing and even being able to do voiceovers like right now you guys probably have heard so much background noise which i know you guys don't mind but i just i feel like i need my own space. I think Frank and I need our own workspace for Simply Etched whenever we get back to it after his surgery. So our plans is to probably make the playroom into an office. I think it's about time because the girls, they play with all their toys. Like honestly, the only person or child I should say is Fletcher that plays in the playroom. So I feel like the space is not being utilized as it once was before, you know, when Harlow was younger, when Scarlett was younger. So there's gonna be definitely a lot of purging. And then Nolan, he doesn't play in the playroom at all. Of course, Aria doesn't. Like they have all of their toys in their room. The girls have all of their toys in their room. And Fletcher's getting to the point where he can go and play with his toys in his room. You know, he's going on two and a half years old. So I think, we're definitely gonna have to purge a lot of their old toys, a lot of toys that I've been hanging on to that I just need to go ahead and donate and just make that into an office space, put some doors in that playroom. So that will probably be a future 
video is like a office makeover and purging and organizing all of the toys. The doors might have to come later once Frank can do projects again. But like I said, just having my own space and having a place where I can work will be so nice. But the last thing I'm doing is just starting a Walmart order getting some things that we need from the store, stuff for the kids. I've been starting to order groceries on Sunday. However, I did go to Trader Joe's this week, so you guys will expect or see a haul very, very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below, subscribe, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.